Hey everybody! I know I said my next video was going to be uh, about Elastic Audio in Pro Tools, but I guess I lied. I've been playing around a little bit with uh, Melodyne. I just got the new Melodyne 2.0 editor. Uh, so I've been playing around a little bit with that, but I actually I don't want to talk about, you know, sort of a tutorial about what Melodyne is. I want to talk about uh, what's new in 2.0 and all that stuff. What I want to talk about is a cool little trick that I learned um, that hasn't actually got anything to do with pitch shifting, but it's got to do with formant shifting. So uh, what I'm going to do is um, bang, drag in a bass here. Now this is uh, something really cool um, that you can do. I'm going to just uh, select all now. And uh, we can have a quick listen. Cool. It's it it's a bass. That's that's awesome. Now the cool thing is uh, we can right click anywhere in the window, or you can go up here. And if you go to the format tool, uh, you can click on any of these, and uh, you can pull up the formants. So we're going to try here to begin with, and bring it back to the start. How cool is that? I mean, uh, this bass is a little bit rattly, um, but it's just a super great tool for uh, for getting some uh, getting some cool sounds. And uh, I mean, it works just so much better than uh, EQ because you're not really um, boosting frequencies that are already there. You're actually changing the uh, the formant uh, frequency content of the audio file, so uh, not the pitch-related frequency, or the, the note-related frequencies, but the, uh, um, yeah, the, the formant-related frequencies. So these, these uh, partials, the frequencies that build up um, identifiable sounds. So it's a really cool way to, uh, you know, you can have like a really woody sort of mellow bass. A more sort of a rock bass that'll cut through a mix. And it's just, it's a super useful tool um, for uh, for doing stuff you know like this so uh, I'm gonna go back select all I'm gonna delete it I'm gonna jump like this to clear all the form and information and we're gonna check out another application for it Ooh, there we go uh, yeah I think this was it wasn't it bang kick drums are literally the bane of my life. And uh, so here we have a kick drum. So of course we can listen to it. So this is probably like a beater head. Uh, I, I was considering using the, uh, the front mic for this, but uh, the front mic sounded really awesome to begin with. And I wanted to show sort of what, what you can do, uh, like if you have like a suboptimal sound. So let's for this sake pretend that this is the only uh, kick drum mic that that we have available in the mix. So we're listening to it and thinking, you know, this isn't good. So we'll select all, uh, jump to the format tool, and in this case, I'm going to drag everything down a bit. Oh, Whoa, Houston, we had a problem. Uh, yeah, we had a problem with the buffer size. It was crashing, so I literally just jacked it up to, like, uh, 2048. Just because it pisses me off when, uh, when shit doesn't work. So I'm going to reselect all my drums, and uh, I'm going to hit the format tool. And as you heard, they were, they were pretty sort of weaselly, these drums. So we're just going to drag it down and have a listen. Ah. Uh. That's so awesome. This, 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 this formant thing? Sick. I love it.
I love it. Uh, I'm going to be using it for uh, for everything. Um, speaking of everything, how about we try it out in the snare? I think this could be pretty sick in the snare. I've actually never tried this. Uh, I had a previous take where I tried it out on another kick drum, but then there was something wrong because my buffer size it wouldn't wouldn't uh, record in my recording program. But now it's cool, so let's find a snare. This this just makes me so excited. Like this is just this is this is literally awesome stuff, you know. Um, so I hope you guys can share in my um, my revelry about this. Let's listen to the snare to begin with. Yeah, so it's a pretty, you know, it's a snappy snare. It's it's all right, but let's let's see what we can do. Let's make it just a little darker. Like just just imagine the possibilities here. Like you can you can be you can be creating parallel tracks. You can have one that's really snappy and one that's low, and you can give different EQ settings and different compression settings on them. Man, there's there's so much stuff you can do with this, and it just it literally tickles me. Let's let's try it on something else. Uh, it's it's just like the world's best EQ in a way because it does sort of everything everything you want it to do. Uh, of course not cool on vocals because formants are literally you know what um what make it work but let, let's try on the uh the the sort of amped bass if you you sans amp for this uh just to sort of give the di signal a little bit of oomph and let's have a listen So of course, yeah. There's there's a little bit. I, I feel like it could be a little bit, mm, a little bit warmer. So let's try that. You know, let's let's go extreme just for the sake of you know, the exercise. <laughs> there we go. That's probably. Good. Like if if it hadn't been uh, for for like the buzziness uh, on the bass, if it had, if it if it had been like a, a really decently recorded bass, this would be awesome, man. It's still awesome, and I love it. And uh, yeah, if you have anything other to, else to say about it, comment it in the section below. Uh, bring me your thoughts. If you end up using this on anything, you know, uh, toss me a link and I'll listen to it. And uh, like if you like, and subscribe if you want to see more. And of course, if you have any requests when it comes to videos and such, uh, give me a bell. I'll probably be doing some in the studio videos soon, and I'm a little bit hyper because I haven't been sleeping well enough, and I've got a lot of work to do. And I shouldn't really be doing this, but it's so much fun, and I wanted to share it with you sweet dudes. So have a good time, everybody, and catch you next time on the flip side, hopefully with elastic audio, but I don't know.